When I think of Betty's Bay, I recall the summer holidays during my childhood. On boiling days, I could hear the cicadas hiss piercing through the fan bars as I ran down a narrow footpath. I'd make my way across the first dune to hear the oceans rumble. And as soon as my feet touched the cool, refreshing water, I knew I was home. of Bass Lake. Surrounded by waterfalls, mountain peaks and tall grass. A quiet escape from the roaring ocean where families would spend a late afternoon to wash off the sea sand and salt water from their visit to the beach. And then there were the mountains. These grey-green titans were resembling slumbering dragons, dwarfing the town and its residents in comparison. It serves as a good reminder of just how small we really are in the grand scheme of things. Growing up in a city far from the towering mountains of the Western Cape, I was inspired by these giants, which fueled my imagination and awoke a deep urge to explore the unexplored. As a kid, I ran between tall trees up the zigzagging pathways hidden between the folds of the mountains and amidst the roar of ever-flowing waterfalls I found a way to escape the white noise from everyday life from the mighty roar of Dieselkloof to the sands flowing uphill toward the peak of Blesberg you'll find a unique blend of forest, feinbos and untouched beach stretching as far as the eye can see on some days I'd bide my time on Jock's beach, collecting shells, chase crabs, and poke starfish, while throwing a handline down rock pools, nestled between the cliffs and the shore, waiting patiently for a hungry rock bass to take the bay. Betty's Bay made summer holidays seem to last forever. mountains where the baboon calls echo, where the brave roam along the treacherous coastline underneath a canopy of stars. This town has seen countless generations of people call it home. The residents who preserve the beautiful shores of this diverse biosphere also face the threat of nature's fury knocking on their doors every day. And while some preserve this incredible part of nature, some seek to pick apart and destroy 
the biosphere's precious resources. As a photographer, it's easy to get lost in the online rat race, where the number of views dictates the quality of our work, and the fight for approval outweighs the joys of creating for ourselves, thus losing sight of the reason we create in the first place. And sometimes all you need to do is just take a step back and look where you've been, and where you are now. After coming here for over 30 years, these mountains that once fueled my imagination during the summer holidays now served as a reminder of why I do what I do. Betty's Bay, the town where fiery sunsets light up the winter skies above the mountains where the leopard roam. The town where natural streams flow into waterfalls that form the soundtrack to your everyday life. The town frozen in time in the shadow of the mountains. <laughs> 